The power of the stand has become an iconic part of JoJo's bizarre adventure. After playing around with the magic breathing of Hamon, Magaka Hirohiko Araki introduced a new, strange, and exciting power of spiritual energy in Part 3, Stardust Crusaders. Projected as a form that stands separately to the user, hence the name Stand, these powers became a key part of the series. Many of the coolest stands, taking their names first from the cards of tarot, and then from the names of bands and musicians that Araki favors, of course belong to the protagonist and primary antagonist of Jojo. Star Platinum, Crazy Diamond, Gold Experience, Killer Queen, and more are all mightily impressive, but this is also a bizarre adventure. So what about all the weird stands in between? With Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean now debuting on Netflix, we're taking a look at the most bizarre stands who have ever appeared in the anime. Here they are, in no particular order. Baby, stand up. With those words, Death 13 became one of JoJo's all-time most outrageous stands. Combining some uncanny Freddy Krueger-esque terror with the kind of sublime ridiculousness that made Part 3 Stardust Crusaders so much fun to watch. Jotaro and the gang are ensnared in their dreams by the childish and sadistic Death 13 with its appearance landing somewhere between Clown and Grim Reaper, that constantly yells, Lolly Ho. The visuals already make for an entertaining foe, but then the show goes a step further by having the one controlling the stand be the evil genius baby named Manish Boy. <laughs> what the actual heck? Though a number of animals have wielded stands throughout JoJo, including the French Bulldog Iggy and the Sinister Eagle Pet Shop, Stray Cat lands on the more disturbing side. This stand was activated after the death of Tama, a street cat that was hit by the stand arrow, a magic arrow which activates stand powers in those pierced by it as a weird carnivorous plant thing. Stray Cat has leaves that operate as arms, petals acting like ears, and so on. It also has the ability to control the shape of the air around it, but it continues to act like a normal cat, which makes it a hostile and dangerous foe indeed. Sex Pistols is actually a group of small and somewhat autonomous stands that act when Mista, one of the protagonists of Golden Wind, fires his revolver. These things guide the bullets to where they need to go and cheer as they do. They're goofy looking, but also kinda cute, and hilariously fussy, landing somewhere between being Mista's employees and his children. These guys frequently fight with each other or demand salami from him before they do anything. The power of unionization. This is literally someone's hair. Love Deluxe, named for the Sade album, is the stand of Yukako Yamagishi from Part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable. Yukako obsesses over Koichi Hirose and uses that hair to restrain him in her house. Both its versatility, she implants hair in his scalp to control him, and the sheer amount of it, let's just say it's enough to fill a house, make for some wild visuals. Though they're used to disturbing effect in the context of the episodes themselves, which occur as kind of a spin on Stephen King's Misery. This one is a magic fishing rod. Wielded by the hitman Pesci, which by the way means fishes in Italian, Beach Boy is a fishing rod that can phase through and hook onto anything. It's gross. A few members of Giorno Giovanna's team get hooked by their vital organs, but it's also, well, just a fishing rod. It's especially funny after seeing all the sleek and stylish designs of the stands belonging to Giorno's comrades. Beach Boy could probably be considered as a punchline to the Hitman team, but he does put up quite a fight before being blown to bits by Bucciarati. Speaking of Bucciarati, his stand, Sticky Fingers, is improbably one of the most powerful in the series. It has explosive short-range power, sure, but its main gimmick is zippers? It's all in how you use it though, and Bucciarati's creative mastery over his stance ability to open interdimensional zips leads to some particularly bonkers imagery. Bruno uses them to do stuff like repel buildings, extend his limbs, unzip heads to dodge blows, as, you know, one does. Mr. President is another passive stand, but this time it resides in a pocket dimension within a tiny gem housed on the back of the tortoise named Coco Jumbo which itself is named after a song by the band Mr. President. 
Part 5, Golden Wind, might have the greatest density of utter weirdo stands out of every series so far, and Mr. President exists quietly among the best of them. It's simply a nice place to hang out with your fellow teenage mafiosos while your capo decides to smuggle the Godfather's daughter away from his tyrannical grasp. Coco Jumbo itself later becomes home for the brain of an actual human character, which adds another layer of strangeness. Pearl Jam would already rank as an all-time weird stand purely based on appearance. It's a combination of a tomato, an onion, and maybe a cucumber, with tiny little arms and sharp teeth. Better yet, it exists in a microscopic colony purely to make your food healthier for you. Josuke and best friend Okuyasu encountered this stand and its user, the chef Tonio Trussardi, in a goofy one-off episode which treats each course of their Italian meal like the setup for some kind of culinary body horror, only for each dish to cure all of Okuyasu's ailments. Tonio himself seems like a complete menace, which makes it all the better that the guy really just wanted to make some great food. Another one from Golden Wind, Babyface is a perfect combination of amusingly strange and utterly horrific. This stand creates another autonomous stand also named Babyface, or Junior, by a sort of twisted immaculate conception. Babyface appears as a computer with a small gross face under the keyboard, while Junior himself is more humanoid and has its own power to turn anyone and anything into cubes. Babyface's power is inherently abhorrent, and its wielder Malone is an utter freak as well, so it's satisfying when they get trounced by Giorno. Perhaps another case where the wielder and context is what makes the stand truly absurd, Strength is another Stardust Crusader special, a gigantic ocean liner named Big Daddy. It's controlled by Forever, an orangutan working for Dio who spends this episode dressed like a sea captain, smoking cigarettes and reading dirty magazines. Though its appearance is brief, Strength certainly makes an impression. It's the largest stand in the entire show so far, one that Forever manipulates in order to ensnare the Stardust Crusaders before being undone by its tendency to gloat. Of course. What are your picks for the most bizarre stands? Let's discuss in the comments! And also be sure to check out these anime to watch for fans obsessed with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And of course, like and subscribe to IGN wherever you watch.